In this video, we'll talk about exceptions. So before you understand exception, we have to first understand different types of errors. So basically when you talk about errors, we have different types for it. The first one is your compile time error. Now what these errors are? The second one you have is you have runtime errors. And the third one is logical error. Now how do we describe this? Let's say if I write a statement here, and if I try to print something and if I make a spelling mistake, let's say if I make this as a capital P, of course your IDE gives you an error here, but even if you compile this code, you will get a compile time error. So it says error cannot find symbol print. Now this type of errors are actually easy to solve because your compiler will show you, hey, you know, you, make a, you made a mistake here. So this is capital P, this will not work. So you will know, okay, uh, I have to make it small and then it will work, right? Uh, of course, when you compile this code, you will not find any, any error now. So when you get error like this, this is syntactical errors and also a compile time error, which are very easy to solve. The second time of error we have is runtime. What is runtime error now? In fact, let's talk about logical first and then we'll come back to runtime. Now, logical error means everything is working. There's no compile time issue, everything is working. And then you, what you did is you added two numbers. Let's say you added two plus two. And of course for this, the output you were expecting is four and the output will be four. And that's very simple, right? But what if you did some calculation, not a simple code like this, you did a multi-line of code where the output is not four, output is five. Now it is working, there's no compile time issue. There is no runtime issue. It's not like at runtime it is getting stopped. But the output you are getting is wrong, right? So you got five where you wanted four. Now this type of errors are called logical errors. Also sometimes we call them as bugs. So even this type of problems are actually difficult to solve because you need to do a lot of testing. You know, if you heard about this, whenever you make an application, you have to test your application as well. So in that case, you will do testing, you will check for the inputs and outputs and everything. So maybe you will able to solve this problem. But the thing is, from the developer side, you do check compile time issues, which compiler will help you there. You do proper testing where you can solve logical issues. Now, once everything is tested, you can ship your product to the client and client is happy. There's no compile time issue. There's no uh, logical issues. Now, runtime issues are a bit different. The problem is in runtime issues, what is, what is happening is everything is working. I mean, compile time issue, no problem. Your code is working as well, but suddenly because of some reason, the code just stopped working. You got errors. Okay, uh, basically, you know, whenever you get errors, runtime errors, your execution normally stops and that's an issue. Let me give an example here. So let's say uh, you made an application where you, your application opens a file, a TXT file from a C drive, okay, or maybe a home folder in Unix system. Till this point, it, it was working because the file was there. And now let's say uh, you deleted that file. So yesterday night you were doing something, some experiment with your system and then the file is no more. And now today, when you are trying to use the application, application is trying to find the file. The file is not there. It will give you a runtime error. The execution will stop in between. Now you will say, what's the big issue, right? You can restart the application. Yes, you can. And everything will work provided the application is not that critical. If you are using a calculator and calculator stops in between, that's okay. You can reopen it when you're playing a game and suddenly the game stops. You can do it. But let's say you are into a game battle where you, where you will get, let's say, $1 million if you win and suddenly your game crashes. Now, we don't want that, right? Uh, we can also go for some applications which are critical. Example, let's say if you talk about medical softwares, uh, you have all those scanning machines and then which where you go inside the machine and then it scans, right? Uh, it throws some rays or some things. I'm not sure about medical terms, but what if the software just stops in between? risky. What if you're in a plane and then the plane software stops working? Very, very critical, right? So you have to make sure that even if you get the errors, runtime errors, it should not stop your application. I'm not saying there will not be a runtime error. I'm just saying we need to handle the runtime errors. So this runtime errors, we can call them as exceptions. And basically we need to handle the exceptions. Okay. So handling the exception is very important. And that's what we are going to do in this set of videos. So in this video, we'll talk, we have talked about what is exception. So exceptions are basically runtime errors. It's not like we are going to stop the runtime errors. Of course, we'll try to check for the conditions. You know, if, when you try to open the file, first you have to check is the file exist. If the file exists, then you open, try to open the file. Those are the things you can avoid runtime errors. 
uh, let's say you're dividing a number by zero. So when you divide a number, and if you divide it by zero, it will give you exception, runtime error. So even before divide, if you can check if the denominator is non-zero, then divide. So those are the checks we can do. But in case if there's an exception, you have to you have to handle it. And how to do that, that we'll see in the next video.